Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Sylvester Stallone was the one that really got you into bodybuilding early on? Uh, yeah, what happened was I was up for Rocky IV and I realized after meeting him, actually, that he... On the Paramount lot. Right? Yeah, Paramount lot. I met him and he said, you got to put on, uh, put on, you got to put on 10 pounds of muscle. So I started doing bodybuilding. And then when I finally got the role, we did bodybuilding together. And you still remember some of the choreographed uh, scenes? Yeah, a little bit. I got, it, right? I got a script. I got the movie script, which is a hundred and some pages. And then I got another script with all the fight, all the rounds, you know. Left, 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 right, left hook, slip, right, cross. I mean, I still remember some of it after, you know, 40 years. Explain how you get paid for Rocky and Rambo, yet you only have to do one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I was up in New York. I had an agent who got me up for a role in Rambo, uh, Rambo 2 as this Russian bad guy who ended up being played by one of Sly's bodyguards. So uh, when I went out for Rocky IV and Sly realized that, hang on a minute, this is the same guy fighting me in Rambo II. So, I, so he, they paid me for that role. I think he got six grand or something. And then he kept me for, uh, for Rocky IV. The last uh, movie you did with Stallone, um, I understand... Uh, it was important to you to confront him over a certain scene. Um, take me into that moment <laughs> and how the conversation went. The film you're talking about is Creed II, where I play Ivan Drago again, my character from Rocky IV, and there is a scene, which is a wonderful scene in the script, between uh, Rocky and Drago, this scene over a table. And I love this scene in the original script. It was really great because my character finally kind of opens up about why, what happened to him after Rocky IV. What, what has he done for these the past 40 years? And, and Sly had, started, had rewritten the scene. He had started, re he was a good writer. He started rewriting it, and I, I didn't agree with some of the writing. And, and the director is this young guy, Stephen Capel, nice guy, but obviously he... He didn't want to get in a fight between me and Sly. It was, so it was, he, was, he got a little scared, so he stayed out of it. It was the first time I kind of stood up to Sly because he, he'd always been my boss and older brother, and I always you know, deferred to him, but in this case, I didn't. I, I stood by my guns, you know. And, and finally, after about two hours of rehearsing and arguing, uh, Sly finally says something like, Hey, can we shoot this f thing now? You know, and then it's like, I realized, okay, I got, I got on my way pretty much. Um, and I think it turned out to be a pretty good scene. And, um, and but, but he, was, he was good about it. Afterwards, he, you know, he came over and gave me a um, tap on the back. And it was, it was a nice moment because it was the first time that we'd acted kind of as equals in the scene before he was always my boss, you know. You said uh, he never viewed you as an equal and that there were unresolved issues yeah. between the two of you. Um, like what? He was married to um, uh, Bridget Nielsen, who was a woman who uh, played my uh, wife in Rocky IV. She was unhappy with what was going on with him, so she kind of used me a little bit to make him jealous. How so? First day of shooting, I'm in makeup, and he just comes up and goes... Um, we talked for a second. And he's director and producer and writer of this movie and my sparring partner. So, of course, I, I, I'm like all ears. <laughs> he goes, uh, you know, um, stop hitting on Gita. And I'm like, excuse me? Stop hitting on Gita. And I'm like, Gita, that was her nickname, Bridget. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's one, I was going out with Grace at the time, I'm, and I was faithful too. So I think it started there a little bit. We had some good times, some bad times, kind of like like family to some degree. He was he was very harsh on me in a scene in uh, Expendables 1, where he kind of yelled at me in front of the whole crew and had me, had me do about 20 takes on a scene. And uh, it was like, my grandmother could do it better than that. What the f you, what are you doing? You know, like basically in front of everybody. And there was press there that day too, international press, mm. to a point where I, um, we took a lunch break. And I remember I was kind of in tears 
uh, I mean, I was really upset. And I called my wife at the time, and I basically just told her, you know, if he says one more word, I'm going to knock him out and f*** this movie. I'm out of here. I'm just going to punch him out and f***ing leave. And I think when I walked on the set, people felt a certain, it wasn't such a good vibration. And then I had a tap on the back, and and it was Sly, and he was like, uh, I'm sorry about that. Let's... Let's just do another take and let's just keep moving on. And we've had a few run-ins over the years, but he, you know, he's a, what can I say? He's a, he's a crazy Italian, you know, uh, and I think he knows that I've always respected him and loved him. And I think that's why we're still friends.